Hello everybody. In my last video, I demoed how to create the controller layer using test driven development. In this video, we are going to focus on creating the service layer using test driven development methodology. So let's get started. Uh, before directly starting the service layer, let's write some tests in the controller layer, which will force us to create a service layer. And then we'll go start from there. So in my last video, I created the male greetings test 200 OK, female greetings test 200 OK methods, where this method will pass two parameters. And based on the male parameter, it will expect a salutation of Mr. And based on the female parameter, it will expect a salutation of Mrs. So now that the controller layer is done, let's verify that it's delegating the logic to the service layer. So that will force us to create a service layer. Let's try to wire. So as you see, it does not compile because we don't have that class. So let's create the class. Verify that. So this method is not there, Let's create the method, it will return, it will get a gender as a parameter and it will return the salutation which is a string, okay. Just to make the compiler happy, all right. Now if you run the test, it will fail. All right, so if you see the reason, wanted but not invoked. So this, this statement is verifying that this uh, method is called from when we do the this, when we call the controller layer, but in the actual code, it's not called at all. So let's go and fix that. So we know that the controller should delegate the logic to the service layer and then get the results from there and do whatever it needs to do. Controller layer is mainly responsible for handling the response codes uh, and any other logic should be dedicated to the service layer. So let's go and fix that. Let's auto wire. So let's delegate this logic to the service layer. Get greetings by gender. If you run this, it will still fail or will it? Let's see the reason.
hello null rather what are you so it's failing because we need to mock the service layer because it's external dependency any any mocked or service method or any mock bin that bins method that you call it will just return null if you haven't mocked it so we have to do a mock when service dot mail then return similarly over here when service dot email dot then return mrs now if you run the tests it should pass and it should be green by the way this creates a mock bean and registers it in the springs container so that whenever the actual code runs spring can pick up the dependency over here from that container so since it is a mock bean it will pick a mock bean in the context of this test and call the mocks beans method and when it is when we have mocked it to return a mr dot when it's called with mail and in this context we have configured it to return miss when it's called with a parameter of female so that's how it's working but since the law controller layer test will pass but this, this does not ensure that all the functionality is done because we don't have any code in the service layer service layer is just returning an empty string so even though the test pass if you actually deploy it it will not work so let's start writing our test for the service layer service create test run with run of the class let's make it context configuration which means all the beans that is required to run this test will be provided by us and spring does not have to look and scan all the class path it's a basically performance thing let's create a configuration class Greeting service, greeting service. Since this is a context configuration, we have to provide this bean to springs. Okay. So now that we have provided our configuration, let's auto wire. So what are the things that we are going to test here? The first things would be if the gender is male return mister. If the is female miss. And 
what, what are other scenarios? If the gender is some gibberish, then it should throw some kind of exception, I guess. So is exception. Now let's I think this is this covers the class pretty much. So let's just start writing our test. Return miss or oh, sorry. Greeting equals to, or uh, let's say, service dot, and then if the gender is male, this is what it should return. So let's assert that against our expected result. Assert dot, assert equals, and then the expectation should be mister and the uh, actual is this I think the same thing will apply here let's let's run the test first expected mister but was nothing so let's go ahead and fix the test let's drop it here and let's go to our service layer so to pass this test we just say mister and this test is okay all right so let's write the test for the female when gender female return MRS let's pass female here and then expect miss now run the test It was expecting miss but it was returning mister so we can fix this test by just adding a s over here but it will fail this test so now it forces us to write the actual logic so let's go ahead and write the actual logic equals to dot equals Gender Let's run all of our tests in the service layer. So this satisfies all the tests in this uh, service layer test. Now let's add the third test. When, when gender garbage throw exception. And this should expect One time exception the class and when the is neither male nor female we don't need this it should it expects a runtime exception if you run the all the tests it 
will throw an exception because this requirement is not made from the code. All right. If we go here, expected exception, but there was no exception. But there was something else. So to fix that, we have to say what mister this will not do for us so how do we fix this let's write it in a different way if dot equals sender return mister else if email dot equals time exception now let's run our tests see that's that's all for our service layer tests uh, this code is available in the github link that is provided in the description if you like this video and want to see more please subscribe and like and comment uh, see you next week. Thank you very much guys.